Hello there, beautiful people. Welcome back again to OnHow channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes. I'm working for you. So if you have any questions and video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment. I would be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. And please bear witness for that because I made over 250 videos so far on Shopify customization. They were mostly requested by you guys. And I know some people are not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for them. So don't hesitate, man. If you have any video requests or any questions, so drop me a comment below. I would be happy to provide you information you need or even make a video for you. And yeah, you don't have to subscribe, or maybe now you should consider doing so, because if you don't, you lose. Now it's a very different chapter on this channel. I usually share small customizations, but now I'll be sharing complete sections and widgets, highly customizable to make Shopify store very unique professional, without having to rely on those expensive teams, or hiring those expensive developers, or even worse, paying for those monthly subscription applications that will drain your money, and it's not a very good idea for long-term projects. But I give you a better deal, scroll down to the channel, check out the videos and sections I'm sharing, and I'll let you decide, and I respect your decision. But for now, let me fulfill again one of the most requested videos again, because I've been getting requests about this for like over a month. But I apologize, I was really busy with some other things, but now I'm free to get to it. Which is how to add a custom file upload field on your Shopify product page, completely free, and it's highly customizable and it looks good. And also, I will show you not just one code, it's many, many codes, it's actually eight, but four for each team. Because I will provide you with the codes that will do this for both the Horizon team and the other new variants that have been released lately and also down team and the other variants that was released with it, which is Refresh, Stand, Spotlight, and so on. So no worries, if you are using like even the newer teams like Horizon and so on, this code will work for them just fine. And if you are using one of the previous ones, no worries, I got a code that will work for them as well. And not just that, actually, if you wanna make the form required, like the user cannot proceed to the checkout unless they upload a file, I got a code for that as well. And if you want to make the form or the uh, file upload field only shows up on a specific product that you want, I got a code for that too that will do that. And also, if you want to make the uh, uh, file upload field uh, only shows up on a specific product that you want and is required, I got a code for that as well. And if you want to just a custom field, custom file field upload that will uh, actually show up on every uh, product in your Shopify store. I got a code for that as well. So what else you need? I mean, everything is completely free. And it takes a lot of time to do this stuff, guys, to build this stuff and share it for free, for free with you guys. So I would really appreciate you if you can help me with one single thing and it's completely free as well. I mean, the thing you're gonna, I'm gonna ask you as well as the code is free, which is hit that like button and leave me a comment. I would really appreciate it. And it will help me actually motivate me to share more free things with you guys. Because there is many things, there are many people that would actually grab the code and make their own videos showing the same exact things I spent valuable time to build and showing it and share it without any credits. And that actually demotivate me. So if you can help me up, hit that like button and leave me a comment. I do reply to each comment, so I would reply to you. That will motivate me guys and will help me actually give you more free things. And without any more talking, let's just jump to it. As you can see, this is Shopify down team, by the way. I always start with completely new team, nothing on it. And each video adds smart customizations. But the video like 70 or 60, the team will be completely different. Check out this all in world views carousel that will show views from multiple sources and it's filterable. Or this video banner that has many, many options that you don't even need to add them in case. Or even better, check out this recent sales notification that will show you the recent sales on your Shopify store by using your own custom code and it's highly customizable. Or you want to see something that will make you more money? Check this out. So this is the mouse cursor, right? I would act just like you want to leave or close the page. And this thing would show up, which is an abandoned cart pop-up reminder that will remind the user how many products he added to the cart and he didn't check out. And it's by exit intent trigger, which is it detects the mouse cursor once it sees the user trying to leave or close the page, then it will show up. And yes, all of this by using your own custom code and many, many more I cannot even mention if I scroll down. There is a lot of stuff in here. As you can see, it's full, even the product page, it's full of stuff. So I will not do demonstration on down team. But as I said, I will do demonstration on Horizon. And the same steps actually work for every Shopify team. So we will close this one and we will do demonstration on Horizon, as I said. So let me open up Horizon team and let me access a product so we can do demonstration on it. And by the way, I just did a video on a circular carousel that looks like Instagram stories, as you can see. And the video just was posted like two days ago or something like that. Anyway, so let me access this product. Oh yeah, the hover effect. 
on on horizon team as you can see the shadow effect sorry i did that i i will quit i promise so let me access this product and we will do it in here actually we will add a custom fit anywhere you can add it anywhere i will show you how to do that also i will show you uh, how to show it on the cart once you click on it it will show the file uploaded in here and also on the checkout page as well it will show up on the checkout page and also on the email confirmation uh, the i mean the confirmation email sorry that will arrive in the email in the for the customer it will show the file uploaded as well now we'll show you how to enable that so we will keep this page open do the trade come back and see it in action so get back to shopify dashboard if you are in shopify dashboard click on online store then click on teams then click on customize button for the team you are using in my case i'm going to do it on horizon and one you might be thinking oh it's already available on team editor no it's not as i said it's your own custom code so in here we will switch to the product page because i want to add it on the product page so click on uh, the home page from the top menu then click on product and select the default template product uh, i mean the template page for the product you're using in my case i'm using the default one and let me switch to another cleaner product this one has uh, so much stuff so at first we will start with the the form that would show up on every product across all your shopify so then we will show you the other ones actually it's all they all have required the same steps it's just different code so in here on the left panel you see template and you see product information simply click on it to be expanded and in here we need to you need to pick where you want to add it obviously so for example in my case i want to add it actually above the variant selector maybe yeah i want to add it in here above the variant selector or maybe below i want to add below actually below the buy it now button so i'm gonna navigate in here where it says buy buttons as you can see hover with the mouse cursor below it you will see add block click on it then it will show you this one right here and simply search for custom and you will see custom liquid simply click on it then it will show you this prompt now on the right of the screen again where you're gonna paste in some code and where are you gonna get that code you need to hire a developer pay him like 24 hours i'm just joking scroll down the description box and you will see a link my website and completely free again simply click on it and a download a zip file a zip file will contain two files one for down team and the other variants and the other ones for horizon and the other variants and you can pick which team you are using in my case i'm using horizon or actually let me show you how it looks like so here is the folder after you download the zip file this is what should be inside one says down team and the others if i open it four files and the other one says horizon and the other variants which is the new, the new variants that was released by uh, with horizon and if you click open it you will see four files so what these are basically so the first one says custom upload field this one will show up across all your products on your shopify store this one is says required as you can see this one will be required so the user cannot actually proceed to the cart or proceed to the checkout unless he actually uh, uploaded a file then he can proceed to the checkout or the cart page and the third one is the one that will only show up on a specific products that you want and also it's required so the user cannot actually proceed to the checkout unless they upload the file and the last one which is the uh, will only show up on the products that you want but it's not uh, required so the user can proceed to checkout without uploading a file so now it's your job to pick which one you want to use for demonstration i'm gonna add this one which is the the most complicated one which is tag and required so i cannot proceed to the checkout and also it will only show up on the specific products that you want and this is a good example so i can show you how to specify those products so now simply click on this right here it will open up the code or open it right click open it with any text editor then copy let me copy the code because it did open up on the other monitor let me copy the whole code inside it then simply get back in here and paste it in the custom liquid block which is this one right here so simply paste it in here now if i click on save nothing will show up why it's not working no it is working but we have to specify which products we want actually the form or the file upload field to show up on as i said I want to i want to show it on this product that's very easy now by the way shine effect here on the product i just did that in video anyway let's just get back in here after you did edit click on the save button and then get back in here to the uh, shopify dashboard then simply search for the product where you want to show it in my case i'm going to show it on this bracelet right here so i'm going to search for it 
uh, anchor anchor bracelet man this one right here and after you access the product that you want to show the form on simply hit over to tag section right here click on it and simply type in upload that's very simple right type in upload and add the tag upload after you add it make sure it shows up here here it is I can see it then simply click on the save button we'll wait for a couple of seconds okay now it's saved we will get back to product page reload the page and see what will happen so let's just reload the page it might take an uh, here is from the first try as you can see it does show up and it suits the design the actually the the, the layout or the style it will follow what uh, your uh, buy button uses so as you can see same exact rounded corners and same colors so in here it says add pictures if you want to change this uh, add pictures just search for it on the code and you can find the text add pictures and change it to anything you want in my case I'm gonna keep it as add pictures and simply I'm gonna click on upload for actually let me try it for example if I click on buy it now now it will not show it will not actually proceed as you can see it shows an error in red color it says it says sorry please upload your files let me try that again it does not work as you can see it does not work so I cannot actually proceed or buy the button or uh, buy the product sorry unless I uploaded a file and this is by uploading multiple file not just one you can upload multiple files in here so let me actually show you that so let me select the files here is so I did select some files as you can see it says two files selected now if I added the product to the cart uh, I already had the product in the cart for some reason and here is uh, same product anyway here is as you can see this is the product anchor bracelet picture one and here is the file for it and picture two here is the file for it as you can see and if I proceed to the checkout I can see them in here as you can see picture one picture two and if I clicked on it it will download the picture actually here it is as you can see it will download the pictures that you did upload it. so this is on the checkout page now the last step in here which is how to make them show up on the confirmation email and to do that simply get back to the Shopify dashboard then click on settings at the bottom left corner in here click on settings then it will show you the settings and click on notifications where is it where is it here is notifications simply click on it then click on customer notifications and after that click on order confirmation it should be the first one in the list click on it again and it will show you the email in here as you can see and simply click on edit code option right here it should be at the top right corner click on edit code and it will show you this code now just to make things easier so you don't get confused scroll down the description box again and or access the same link in the description box let me access it so I can show you because I did an example in there maybe you already saw it here it is as you can see so we have to remove this code three times not one not two three times it exists three times in the code let me actually select now simply select the first line the whole first line as you can see simply select it or right click copy then get back in here click on the code just like you want to write something then on your keyboard click on if you are using Windows click on Control F I'm on Mac I'm going to click on command F and it will show you this prompt right here at the bottom of the page and simply pasting the code that you did copy from my website pass it in here then hit enter on your keyboard and here it is it did highlight it as you can see then simply uh, delete the code that was highlighted in yellow selected the whole code then delete it then scroll down a little bit and you will see this end f in the middle along like this and space above it and below it as you can see let me zoom in on it this lonely and F as you can see simply select the whole thing the percenter signs and the brackets as well then delete them as well then the next thing you're going to do is same because we have to do this three times not just one or two three times so do that again control F or command F and paste in the code in here and click on enter it will be highlighted select the code in yellow delete it then scroll down a little bit the lonely and F in here and the closing brackets and the percenter sign delete it again again for the third time control yeah control F or command F paste in the code hit enter it will highlight it and scroll down a little bit 
select the, the code in yellow, delete it, then scroll down again a little bit, the lowly end F and percent sign and brackets, delete them, and you're finished. You have to do this three times, not one or two, three times. It's very important. Now, if I click on save, it will be saved. And now each email customers will get will have actually the files that he did upload in here, which is this one's right right here that shows up on the card page as well as the checkout page. And that's how you add custom file upload field on your Shopify product page. And it takes me a lot of time to build this stuff. I would appreciate if you hit that like button and leave me a comment. Also, if you have any questions or any issues you counter, just drop me a comment. I would be happy to provide you the information you need or even make an update for you. Yeah, because I'm working for you. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.